Look at that. That is the site that for so many brings hope. COVID-19 vaccines rolling off the assembly line. And good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Katy Uriarte. We do begin with the cold, hard numbers when it comes to that vaccine. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, as of last year, there are 29 million people who live in the Lone Star State. Only 1.4 million doses of the COVID-19 vaccine that will be coming to Texas in about 11 days. That's according to Governor Greg Abbott. However, estimates from the Texas Department of State Health Services found that more than 5 million people in the state fall under the category of frontline workers or the vulnerable, and they would be the first to receive the vaccine under CDC guidelines. Now, the reality is it's still going to be quite a while before most of us get that vaccine, but who are those that get the first crack at it? New at 10 tonight, our Seth Kovar has learned more about who it will be. These are the people that are on the front lines that are actually taking care of COVID-19 patients. And they're the ones the State Health Services Commissioner put at the front of the line when it comes to getting the COVID-19 vaccine. And I think that decision that he made for the Phase 1A Tier 1 is right on point. You know, if I had to pick those individuals, I would pick the same ones. EMS workers who go on emergency calls are also in the top priority group, as are people who work with vulnerable populations like nursing home caretakers. Tier 2 is an even bigger group, including outpatient doctors and some funeral home workers. So that's what local health leaders say is the state's tier system for who gets the first doses of the vaccine. But what do you think about that? So on a chilly day here in South Texas, I went somewhere you might still go, the post office, to find out. This woman says the state got it right, putting health care workers first. It would be ideal for everybody to get it, but I know that um, there has to be a process, and those are the ones that need it um, more readily available. And even though it could be a while for folks like office workers to get their vaccines, patience is a virtue. I'm willing to wait and tell everybody that absolutely needs to have it and is exposed to it daily. Um, they need to be safe. But her friend brought up a group of people left out for now that she says shouldn't be. My sister is a teacher for CCISD and I really disagree with that. Teachers need to definitely be included. Local health leaders say they will be along with another important group. As far as the teachers, you know, even police officers, to be honest with you, you know, they're going to be coming up pretty quickly, in my opinion. How quickly? The director of public health estimates no later than the middle of next month. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Seth Kovar, Chris 6 News.